Hello everyone. Welcome to this series on literary terms and literary theory. If you want to study the notes and MCQs related to this term, you can click the link given in the description. We are also going to start our online and offline classes for UGC NET for English literature very soon. So stay connected with us. The term which we are taking up in this video is concrete and abstract. First of all, introduction. In standard philosophical usage, the term concrete refers to a word that denotes a specific individual or physical object, while abstract denotes either a class of things or qualities that exist as attributes of particular persons or objects. Definition and examples. For instance, the word tree is a concrete term as it refers to a specific physical object while beauty is an abstract term representing a quality attributed to various things in literature critics extend these concepts to describe how language is used to represent subject matter literary analysis in literary analysis a passage or writing is termed abstract when it conveys its subject matter using general or non-sensuous words lacking a vivid representation of the experienced qualities on the other hand a passage is labeled concrete when it vividly and specifically portrays its subject matter with sensuous details and striking particularity this distinction allows readers to perceive the difference in the level of sensory engagement and specificity in the language used by the author examples from the poetry of john keats john keats a prominent poet known for his vivid imagery offers examples of both concrete and abstract descriptions in his works in his ode to psyche keats presents a concrete description of a scene filled with hushed fragrant flowers of various colors evoking sensory experiences through touch sight and smell similarly in the opening lines of ode to a nightingale keats communicates the concrete feeling of a drowsy numbness through a combination of literal and figurative language use of abstract in poetry despite the assertion that poetry tends to be more concrete poets do not shy away from using abstract language when it suits the subject matter or artistic intent Keats himself while known for his concrete imagery began Endymion with an abstract statement about beauty as a joy forever emphasizing its enduring quality additionally abstract expressions like Dante's in his will is our peace in paradiso and Edgar's observation in King Lear about the inevitability of human existence demonstrate that abstract language can carry profound meaning and evoke strong emotions and finally richness of language the richness and versatility of language allow poets to navigate between concrete and abstract expressions depending on their artistic aims and the themes they seek to convey while concrete language immerses readers in sensory experiences abstract language can encapsulate profound philosophical or existential reflections ultimately the interplay between these two dimensions of expression contributes to the depth and impact of literary works so this was the discussion on the terms concrete and abstract i'll see you in the next video with some other term until then goodbye and thank you